Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeves here, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge, pulling back the layers and dissecting suggested tracks. This is a first time band here on the channel, and it's called Circa Survive. The song is called The Hex. Um, did a little bit of research. Remember, I just look at Wikipedia, so I'm not, you know, not everything is right on the internet, right? That's, you know, that's funny, funny thing about that, right? Um, apparently, uh, they formed uh, in Philadelphia, uh, 2004, and their genre is a b b b b alternative rock, psychedelic rock, progressive rock, post-hardcore. Hmm, don't know what that means. Experiment, experimental rock and EMO. What is post-hardcore? You guys maybe send me a couple of, uh, or send me a message or a comment to something like bands that are post-hardcore so I can kind of dig, dig into that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, anyhow. It looks like they're still with the original members, and um, uh, I think they're going on tour, as a matter of fact. And they let me scroll down really quick. Yeah, it looks like they're uh, still uh, still badass here. So <clears throat> let's do this. Like usual, I want to thank you guys for all of your support. Whether you share it, you like it, leave a comment. You know, <laughs> if you make it all the way to the end, I always ask people to say, "I'm still here." That's always fun to to, to kind of catch those uh, little comments there. All right, guys, let's do this. <clears throat> this is from. The Amulet, uh, I guess this is a deluxe CD, that's what it says here on uh, Spotify, and this was released in 2018. So this is Circuit Survive, The Hex. All right. change right there with that one note in the um, uh, that they use there in the scale kind of went oh what what that that's unique there's a lot I want to say but I'm gonna try to pack this up really quick number one I love the sizzle on that opening bass that actually sets a little bit of a soulful stinger that edginess with it because what they do in production and in the engineering is that the two guitars that are, you know left right that are playing are very clean and glassy something else is really super cool the ambiance that they're that has, that's being created the etherealness of that guitar playing that is with delays and reverb that's happening but what's really super cool and in hard left hard right pan left pan right uh, but what's really super cool is that the vocalist the delay on the vocalist's voice if you listen to it as we go forward his delay is in mono as in not to clutter up the space. I'm assuming that's what the engineers and the producers and, and the musicians are thinking about because that can be a, bo a, a battle that sometimes gets lost. So which one do you want it, you know, to hang out a little more? Um, you saw me do this. Uh, that was some really, really super fun uh, arrangement the drummer was doing just with the rolls. It's, it's just the nuances, you know? Yeah. Drummers have so many tricks in their you know, in their sticks. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it doesn't have to be or whatever the case is, well, whatever the song calls for, obviously. But I loved what he did, a couple of those nice little rap, rap things going on there. The vocals, um, because this is my first, you know, song from the band, I don't know what else uh, they're capable of, and I'm sure I'm gonna find out as I continue the journey with them. But his high, his high tone in his voice 
does not compete with the high end of the mix and the guitars, and it sounds so cool. So this is a very, <coughs> excuse me, laid back and chill performance, but they really, they really working, they're really working me off of the ambience and the ethereal. And then obviously that last note that they threw in right before I stopped, I was like, oh, quoi? All right. <laughs> okay, so let me go back a little bit. Let's continue. Did you notice how the bass obviously changed um, the tone throughout the song? It started off with that edgier kind of introduction to kind of get us, you know, on a slow burn there. But this last, if you notice how clean it was, and what I loved about the tone of the bass, which I think, you know, a lot of, of us who, are, uh, who listen to, to music on a professional level, and most of you who are um, what I would consider the pure listener, you're just enjoying the music and you're just, you know, uh, taking it all in. There's such a, it's a unique thing with the engineering, the bass player and, and his ears, their ears, that even when the bass player is playing notes that are not in typically that lower register that the bass can carry and hold, you know, whole octave down from a guitar and down here, blah, 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 blah. But it's keeping the, the warmth of the bass tone while the bass players, he or she, are playing up higher on the, on the neck. There's many different ways to do it, but it's just a very unique uh, approach engineering wise to really keep your mind on the fact that you still need that warmth kind of hanging in there, even though the string um, uh, vibrations are getting higher, so the notes are getting higher or faster, etc. They're still keeping that warmth at the bottom, and I really dug that. Uh, the vocalist, you know, I've had quite a few uh, people bands on, on here that have these singers that have these naturally incredibly wonderful beautiful glassy voices but he snuck in a little power somewhere in there I, I heard a little crispiness in one of his notes I believe it sounded like and his harmonies too were very you know the interval of the harmony which can be a little tricky if you have a high voice and you don't have lower registers it, sometimes it can cluster up could be a good thing if you want it but I love the harmonies he was stretching out with his uh, as well when his harmonies came in. So this was a really super chill, ambient, ethereal. I, I would think this is more of the, uh, from all the genres, maybe more of the indie rock part of their catalog. But I look forward to your suggestions. Uh, I want to thank you. You know who you are. <laughs> kind of went, hey, dude, <laughs> you know who you are. I want to thank you and um, uh, for getting me uh, back on this. And uh, so that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. I'm going to now be done with this and turn on the air conditioning. I gotta turn off the air conditioning when I do this stuff because it's noisy, it sounds like crap, but uh, it's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here, I'm telling you. I don't know why I just went that way. All right guys, take care, have a killer day. <laughs> Aloha.